Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install IP Vanish on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Following the installation of IP Vanish, I'm going to show you some different VPN settings, some protocols, and other features with IP Vanish that I would suggest changing. And guys, I also suggest that you stick around towards the end of this video as I will be showing you a better IP Vanish alternative that I recommend at IPTV Wire instead of using IP Vanish. So be sure to stick around for my top VPN choice. All right, guys, so to install IP Vanish on your Amazon Fire Stick, the first thing we need to do is install the application from the Amazon App Store. So to do that, I'm going to hover over Find on my Fire Stick Max. I'm going to click Search, and then I want to type in IP Vanish. And as you'll see, as I start to type it in, IP Vanish shows up down here. And here is IP Vanish VPN under Apps and Games. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then once I click IP Vanish, you'll be directed to the download screen. Be sure to click download and then just give it a few seconds while IP Vanish is downloading on your Fire Stick. All right, after IP Vanish has installed on your Amazon Fire Stick, I'm going to click the home button on my remote. And now I'm going to go ahead and click this apps icon here towards the front of my apps list. So I'm going to click that. And then once you're on your apps and channels list, simply scroll down and you should see IP Vanish here. I'm going to click the options button on my remote and I'm going to click move to front. And IP Vanish is now towards the front of my apps and channels list. So now I'm going to go ahead and launch the IP Vanish application. You're going to have to wait probably a few seconds while this boots up for the first time. And here I am on the IP Vanish login screen. So I do have a paid account for the purposes of this video, but if you do not have an IP Vanish account, you can simply visit the IP Vanish website and find you know further instructions there for signing up. Guys, towards the end of this video, again, I'm going to show you a VPN that I would prefer using over IP Vanish anyway. So be sure to stick around. So I'm gonna enter my login credentials here and then move on to the next step. All right, so after I've logged in with my username and password, I'm gonna click connect as the very first thing that I'm gonna do. And you're gonna get a connection request just like you use any VPN for the first time. Make sure you click okay. And once you do that, this is by default going to connect you to you know, either the fastest or the closest IP Vanish VPN server from your physical residence. So here I am on the Minneapolis server, which is somewhat near my residence. So guys, a few settings that I would suggest you change if you are on the IP Vanish application is I'm gonna click settings here. And then the first thing I would suggest making sure is sometimes this may not be on WireGuard. So I would make sure that you are on the WireGuard protocol. A couple other things I wanna call out is that you do need a separate application to use a kill switch with IP Vanish. If I go back to the Amazon App Store and I type in IP Vanish, this has always been one of the biggest flaws of this VPN is that now they have a kill switch, but the downside is, is it's a separate application. It's not built in to the actual VPN like you see with Surfshark or ExpressVPN. So that is a downside of IP Vanish is a separate app application for a kill switch. So guys, to make sure IP Vanish is working now that I'm connected, I'm gonna click the apps icon here and I'm going to launch the Silk browser, which is just the internet icon here that you should have on your Fire TV device. So if I click that, what it's going to do is bring me to this screen. So what I'm gonna do is I have it saved right here is I'm just going to enter DNS leak test. This will just establish wherever my connection is pointing. So I'm gonna enter DNS leak test Click the first result here. And this is how I know that the IP Vanish VPN connection is working. It says Minneapolis and I'm not located in Minneapolis. And this is also not my IP address as this is an anonymous IP address created by IP Vanish VPN. So guys, that's how you install IP Vanish VPN on an Amazon Fire Stick. But guys, like I mentioned towards the beginning of this video, our number one recommended VPN is actually Surfshark VPN. So I'm gonna click connect here. And there are many reasons for this. The kill switch is one big reason. So if I go into settings, click VPN settings, you'll see that Surfshark does offer a working kill switch. You don't need to install a separate application. And I believe as of this video recording, Surfshark VPN not only is a cheaper option as well, but it does have more features than IP Vanish. They have a custom clean web feature here. 
Um, they also offer more protocols on their Fire Stick application. They have WireGuard, IKEV2, and they also have two versions of the OpenVPN protocol. Um, there is just a lot of reasons why that I prefer Surfshark VPN over IP Vanish VPN. And guys, I do have a special discount link below for Surfshark VPN that does help support myself and this channel. Um, but regardless, guys, again, that is how you stall, install IP Vanish on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. I truly appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Hope this video helped you out. And guys, I hope you all have a great day.